Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Melidio, and uh, today I'll be going over the uh, SOAP lab demo. SOAP has an interesting structure, and it's considered a micelle since it has a polar uh, ionic bond between the sodium ion and the negatively charged oxygen on the fatty acid chain, and a nonpolar tail. The following uh, demonstration will show how the solubility of soap in water can vary depending on its um, constituents. If you're watching this for the lab assignment, please make sure you write down all your observations. First, we will look at oil and water. So as you can see, they are not soluble in each other, as oil is nonpolar and water is polar. Fat is extremely insoluble in water, as you can see uh, in the second tube, as fat has a longer uh, carbon chain, which decreases its solubility. This is why you see a huge chunk uh, floating at the top. So soap and water, as you can see, it's insoluble by the part down there, but when you mix it, it is still fairly cloudy. All right. Second, let us test our theory of like dissolves like by trying to dissolve each of the items tested previously in hexane. Hexane is um, quite uh, nonpolar. So as you can see, it, with our oil and hexane, it is now soluble in it that it has a yellow color. The fat, which was, is non, uh, not soluble in water, is now soluble in the hexane. And then the soap and hexane, again, is just as cloudy. Because again, the soap is partially polar and nonpolar. Again, we are proving the like dissolves like rule. Now with soap in mixed in with hexane, we see that once again, it is cloudy. Again, more evidence of the dual polarity of soap. Remember, taking a warm shower with just warm water will not remove the dirt and the oils. You need soap to attract the nonpolar oils and the dirt that makes you feel dirty. And the soap is also needed to be soluble partially in water so that the dirt can be washed away. The dual polarity of soap can help solubilize the dirt and allow it to wash away from our bodies. Chemistry in action. Ever wonder why we get soap scum in our bathrooms? I know I do. Uh, well, the answer is solubility. In the first test tube, we see soap mixed with uh, calcium ions, and you can see how it forms a milky white mixture. Next, we have soap that contains magnesium ions. It also forms a white mixture. Finally, here is soap mixed with iron three ions, which is extremely insoluble, forming a milky red mixture. Soap can mix in with each of these ions in hard water. The precipitants out the soap and form soap scum. This can decrease the cleaning power of the soap. Supposedly, if we try a different uh, solution, say a detergent solution, the detergent can fully solubilize all three of these ions. So this is with the calcium. This is with the magnesium. And then here is the iron. As you can see, all three were soluble. And these are considered our hard ions. An example of a detergent is sodium lauryl sulfate. It has a shorter carbon chain this allows the detergent to solubilize the two species that are very different in polarity. A detergent is an ex excellent example of an emulsifying agent. From this, we can say that detergent has better cleaning power than the soap because the ions are going into solution. Remember what it looked like with solubilizing oil and water. Lastly, we look at the mixture of tap water and soap. Again, as you can see, the tap water is fairly uh, cloudy in the mixture. And then we also have detergent 
uh, too, and you can see the detergent solubilizes that tap water better because that tap water, again, has the hard ions in it. So thank you for your time. I hope this video has been informative.